GMS. Oh my God, they are. Ooh. Who wants GMS though, Che? What if someone's watching and they don't know what GMS is? Okay, well for those who don't know what GMS is, it's a Nicole called Great Millstone. Yeah. Um, and they stone crazy. So yeah, great. I don't know what's great about them, but Millstone would be yeah. That 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 do it. All right. One of the guys looks over at me and says, "I just want to take a knife right now and stab you in the throat." Like it's normal to say that. The the average Muslim, even someone who's kind of maybe passionate, I'll just put it that way, they make the average Hebrew Israelite. The average Muslim seems like a total gentleman in comparison. That's all I'm saying. Listen to this. Well here's the thing. A lot of a lot of what we seen was this was was the people who was coming that was not there at first. It was like thirty guys, thirty to forty guys in GMS out there. Thirty to forty, 40 guys. guys. Cherry, have you ever seen GMS be that deep? So Cherry's from the south side of Chicago. Have you ever seen GMS be that deep? Yeah. <laughs> That's a, but see the the new argument somewhat they want to take the Gentiles in the New Testament and say that they are Israelites. So yes. that's their that's that's the only legal. only when they need to. They though. need to. I told them to take off his skirt. <laughs> You take your skirt off, I'll take my pants off. Why are you so uh, scared? Why are you saying that? Because they look like skirts. They look like skirts with, you know, with strings at the end of it. Something, them country cut out blankets. You, you guys remember when the big boss man? Let me do that. Yeah. Yeah. That game just a little what? slower. Now you, what? You said it so fast. Now you oh, should sorry. be like, um, I, I, I want to I come down and go, Whoo! Yeah. I come down and go. Woo! Yeah. I come down and go. Woo! Yeah. Right. These dudes are just the most hypocritical religion you could imagine. I come down and go. Woo! Yeah. Right. These dudes are just the most hypocritical religion you could imagine. I come down and go. Woo! Yeah. Right. These dudes are just the most hypocritical religion you could imagine. Shem Rekar Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, Shalom to the hopefully elect. Let's say Shalom to the elect and the men that are striving and that is uh, persecuted for this truth. Okay, and I want to uh, kind of go on a video. I don't even know if it's a response, but it's um, going into these Christians and that's coming after the Hebrew Israelites and making jokes and mockery um, which we can do the same thing um, but this truth is about edifying and is about building okay and he's, as you can see these Christians they're not about that they're just out to uh, make fun okay they're making jokes they're making fun um, 
just to build his uh, vocab alone basically to build his reputation uh, as I said in the last video this man is a hustler you know and, and he's doing these things he's he thinks he's a comedian uh, but I don't see nothing that's funny obviously we're being targeted so it wouldn't be funny anyway uh, but hey uh, this guy is funny anyway uh, him and his guy uh, Dave Woods <laughs> and uh, anyway um, this guy vocab says uh, that I didn't get to finish the other part of the video um, he says the average Muslims are gentlemen compared to us so now if somebody who's in Islam Obviously, this guy who he's he attacks the uh, people who follow Islam. His job, according to those Jews, this guy uh, Reisner, uh, John Reisner, whatever his name is, uh, they're set up to attack the uh, Islamic movement, so to speak, and the Hebrew Israelite movement. The thing that they, they're not going to stop. You can attack, but you're not going to stop the truth. Okay, and this. Uh, this uh, nigger woman, uh, Cherry, she goes on to say, while he was trying to pull out the word, they already pulled out the word a long time ago, man. They pulled it out. Uh, <laughs> they pulled it out because they never retained it. Okay, they never kept it. And what what the hell will we try to? What will we sit there and try to accept the madness that this man is spitting out, man? We're on another level. We're on another level of teaching. This guy's still stuck in Gentile world. This guy's still stuck on, on Gentile. Okay? Or all is one. Or Jesus Christ. These guys are still stuck on that. And I notice, and I'll make this short because I made the intro a little long. Um, I noticed when he read out, when he was reading those scriptures, that was out of NIV. That wasn't even really out of the, the, uh, the words, the true words of the scriptures, man. Okay? Okay, so she goes on to say, uh, and he says as well, uh, that we want to take the word Gentile and make it uh, make it as an Israelite. So, okay, let's get a scripture real quick. Uh, I think this is Galatian. Galatian um, looks like Galatians 3 and 28. It says, there is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male or nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And it's because he stuck with that Christ Jesus that they believe. See, these devils are very arrogant. Okay, the niggas, the nigglets on the side. You know, as I said before, they just believe. You know, they'll just follow whatever devil say. Okay, but now when you look at this thing, when Paul was saying um, there was there is neither Jew nor Greek. Why? It's just the same as today. If if I knew I was an Israelite and somebody else didn't know that was of my nation, of my heritage, and I said, "Oh man, you just a nigga in the world. You ain't nothing but a American." I can't say that to him. I have to try and to try to persuade him and bring him in. I have to say, "Yeah, you follow the American tradition, but my job is to teach you that you're an Israelite, and that's what this Jew nor Greek is all about." Okay. Because there would be no reason to say Jew nor Greek. If everybody could make it all along, there would have been no reason to say that. It would have just said everyone. All the way through the New Testament. It would have just said everyone. It would have had no reason to say it would be Jew or Greek, whether you're Gentile, doesn't matter. It would have just said, look man, everybody can make it. And the scriptures never said that. Okay? Now let's get this little, I got this little um, clip. It's a little article. It says, and I'll try to make it quick. Uh, it says the term is used English, uh, used by English translators Hebrew goy, in the Hebrew Bible and the Greek word ethne. In the New Testament, the term Gentiles is derived from Latin, uses contextual, used for contextual translation. Okay, that's all it was used for. That word Gentile didn't even have to be there. Okay, and not. An original Hebrew or Greek word from the Bible. So didn't we understand that the, the, the scriptures was translated from the Hebrew and the Greek? So this word Gentile really has no business in the scriptures. Okay? Okay, the original word Goy and Ethnos refers to people or nations. Uh, and, and if you look at the word nation, 
it'll say tribe, like the, the, the nations of Israel, and are applied to both Israelites and non-Israelites in the Bible. So what the hell is this person talking about? She said that we, and, and uh, vocab, they both said that we use this word when we want to use it to fit whatever we want to fit. Well, they don't understand precept upon precept and line upon line. And they definitely don't understand the Hebrew, the Greek, nor the Latin. Okay? And let's be honest, they don't understand even the English. How the English language works. Okay? Well, words that spell the same but have different meanings. Okay? There's different words like where and where. Okay? And they have different meanings. Anyway, let's read that part again. Okay? And not, it says, uh, and not an original Hebrew or Greek word from the Bible, the original word goi, ethnos, peoples, or nations, and are applied to both Israelites and non-Israelites in the Bible. So the Gentiles can mean Israelites, and it can mean non-Israelites. Okay? Look, man, he, he has this guy, what's this guy named David Woods? This is all we know this is just another hustle. But all the wickedness that he talks about as far as the hypocrite, being a hypocrite, look at this guy. This guy will sit up there and endorse a man who cross-dresses. Okay? And the scriptures clearly say it's an abomination. Okay? So we got to ask the question, is Vocab Malona homosexual as well? After all, you don't make it by those Jews. And this is this is what's been said, okay? This is alleged. <laughs> these Jews, you do not get contracts in these businesses without going through certain channels, and I'm not going to go any further than that, okay? Uh, goes on to say, Romans 1, 29, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, and wickedness, covenant, maliciousness. Was this not even for you devils, man? Oh, but this applies to you because that's what you're filled with, man. Full of envy, murder, debate, <laughs> deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despite, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. This all sounds like vocab alone. Disobedient to parents without understanding, covenant breakers, which he's not because he doesn't even have the law. As I said, this scripture is going to the Israelites. All through the scriptures, it speaks about the Israelites, man. Who had the covenant? What about Romans 9 and 1? So it says, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. And here's to the point with you, vocab, and David Wood. Who, knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasures in them that do them. So if you're not getting on David Woods about wearing a dress, you're just as guilty. Which means you're, you're just as sick as David Woods. Okay? You're just as sick. So do we worry about uh, these guys talking about us and saying, you know, all the wicked things uh, that they're saying, you know? You know, they talk about going in the hood. No, we don't go into the hoods, man. To wake up black people. And it's carnal... Uh, this carnal nigger woman, Cherry. Why the hell would you? Yeah, you can tell she's from the ghetto. Okay, this carnal nigger woman, Cherry, uh, says that we won't post up in the in the ghettos or you'll come up missing. But that's of out of a mouth of a Christian. Listen to these Christians. I thought they said love your enemy, respect your neighbor, love all. What happened? Okay. But what happened to Mark 12 chapter? 12 chapter it says here on Israel, uh, uh, love your your neighbor as thyself. Okay, so that's talking about Israelites, man. Okay, so you can't get around that, man. Okay, it says um, uh, 1 Corinthians 4 and 9. It says, for I think that God has set us forth, Yahweh has set us forth the apostles last. Okay. So, um, it says, set us forth the apostles last, as it were appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. We are fools for Yahweh's sake, 
This doesn't sound like you guys' vocab. Seems like vocab Malone and the posse is actually helping fulfill the uh, the the uh, the prophecy according to the scriptures. Okay, this video was going to go in another direction, but it went here. Okay, uh, we are fools for Yahweh Shah's sake, uh, but ye are wise in in Christ. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye, ye are honorable, but we are despised. And we've seen this. This guy vocab is fitting these prophecies, man. Even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and buffeted, which means stricken, okay, and have no certain dwelling place. That's why they call us bums and everything else they call us. And labor working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless. Being persecuted, we suffer it. Being defamed, okay, we entreat. We are made of filth of the world and are the offscoring of all things unto this day. So if this happened to the prophets of old, this is going to happen to the prophets today. There's no new thing under the sun. This is also proven when Yahweh said, take up your cross, which means your affliction, and follow after me. This also proves that that Christian nonsense is madness. There's no suffering you see these people do nothing but smile and laugh and crack jokes, okay, a according to the Bible. This is what these people are doing. They are laughing according to the Bible. You will never see none of us crack jokes and completely laugh a whole hour straight according to the scriptures, man. These guys are fraud. They're false, okay, and they're going to be condemned for their madness. That's all I have on that shallow walk. GMS Winnipeg Prophet says, loser and two coons, hair hat wearing. Right. Oh, my weave. <laughs> nah, just hair.